there's two sides of pain that I don't think a lot of people really understand. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. And, 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 and if you never tap into it, it's because the first time you felt it, you backed off. The first time you felt ah, that burn, the first time you felt that ah, it's too much. And we rationalize with ourselves to where we automatically stop. That's why a bunch of us give up so much in life so quickly. That's why kids have a problem finishing things in today's time. Because as soon as they feel a small bit of discomfort, of things ain't right, oh, they go. When things go wrong, they always seem to happen at once. And they just come out on top of each other. And it's pretty easy sometimes to, to feel deep when you're faced with all those issues and all those problems and they all hit you at the same time. But let me tell you, that doesn't mean give up. In fact, it means the opposite. It means it's time for you to fight harder, to dig in. It means it's time for you to go on the warpath. It's hard handling just the tragedies of life. It's hard. When you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it, and it doesn't work out, you lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. Here's what I discovered that happens to your life. And you will go through things and while you're going through them, you can't understand why it's happening to you. But after you go through it, you get back and you look at it and you say, oh, now I understand why I needed that lesson. And that's all I want people to do is realize that you have to struggle. You have to struggle. The bigger the struggle, the bigger the peace. You know how you get that fight or flight response when you get to move real quick? And you know, I, I started learning the mind a lot how to get myself jacked extremely fast. Like in a horrible environment when everybody's miserable. I learned how to really find strength in the misery. When everybody's suffering, everybody's all poopy pants and their mentality's down and everything, I started, it's like, my God, this is where I shine. And I started using all that misery for tons and tons of tons of drive and motivation to, to, to then lead people further. Because you can get a lot of power through misery. And once people see that, my God, God, this is where I'm going. Then everybody says, Roger that. Let me get my shit and go too. So yeah, I started realizing that if you can just find strength just a little bit longer, you will have a crew of people following you along the way. Everything worthwhile is uphill. You see, every dream that you've ever had, it's, it's on. If you have a great relationship with somebody, you, you had to work on it. it, it's uphill. If you build a wonderful business, guess what? It was uphill. If you've made the right decisions, they're, they're not easy, are they? It, it's uphill. And the only way that you can go uphill is to be intentional. Nobody ever accidentally went uphill. You've never talked to a successful person and said, how did you get to the top of the mountain? And then look at you and say, I have no idea. If they're at the top of the mountain, they know how they got there. Because they had to have effort. It took energy. It took time. Everything worthwhile, everything worthwhile is up here. Yes, I had some bad breaks. That's why my business is down, but this is not how my story ends. I went through a loss, it was painful, but I know weeping endures for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. I had a lot of dysfunction growing up. Didn't get off to a good start, but I know my latter days will be better than my former days. Nothing that's happened to you is a surprise to God. He wouldn't have allowed it if it was going to stop your purpose. You may have gone through loss, things that are not fair, but what you need to fulfill your purpose is not in what you've lost, it's in what you have left. 
Take the hand you've been dealt and make the most of it. It will be easy. It will be hard because life is hard. That's what life is. It has challenges. It has challenges that you face. They're going to do their best to take you down. Line up those problems and confront them. Face them. Fight them. Do not let them do it. In fact, in fact, let those challenges raise you up. Let them elevate you. Let their demands and their trials make you stronger. Let the adversity you face today turn you into a better person tomorrow. We're never going to understand everything that happens. You can't let one betrayal, one divorce, one bad season sour the rest of your life. I know it wasn't fair. I know it was painful. It wasn't your fault. But you can't stop there. You have a responsibility to get back up. That means quit reliving the hurts. Quit thinking about what they did. Quit believing the lies that you've seen your best days. God knows how to make it up to you. When He sees you moving forward, when you could be sitting in defeat, you're praising when you could be complaining, you have a smile when you could be depressed, you're being good to someone even though you've been through hurts, you better get ready. God is going to show out in your life. You will see greater favor because of the unfair things.